It's 12 a.m. exactly and I'm leaving to Toronto in about eight hours so that is kind of crazy but I was trying to pack up a present that I was trying to crochet right now and then I went on my website and realized there was a unfulfilled order that I did not notice and I was like oh man I have to pack that right now because I don't think I'll have time when I move to Toronto luckily it was an item that I already made I should go to sleep soon because I have to wake up at five My mom came with me to Toronto to help me move in so we went grocery shopping and eventually I had to say goodbye to her so this is me taking the train back to Union Station and here you can see I'm watching the new movie he's all that with Addison Rae in it while trying to organize my yarn. At first, I wanted to lay it all out for everyone to see, but thought it would be a bit more sanitary if I just put it away until I need it. So I just packed it in my suitcase and it was good to go in the closet. And now I'm just packing the rest of my groceries. I got this big carton of bubbly water from Costco because I love sparkling water. So look how neat this looks in this Ikea card I got. Hi everyone, my name is Ali. welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming from a new apartment. I have officially moved and this is my first video I'm filming in here all alone. I need to adjust to this, definitely. But first I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community that offers thousands of classes for creatives. They offer multiple class topics, such as graphic design, entrepreneurship, writing, video. There are so many things you can learn on this platform. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always releasing premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity leads you. So I just started taking a photography course. It's by Jessica Cob. Bessie, I think that's how you pronounce it, but she she basically tells you how to plan out your shoot, what kind of gear you need, how to shoot under different conditions like street style versus sunset. So I'm so excited to continue learning because recently I've been wanting to learn how to take better photographs because although I like film and making short films, I am terrible at photography. So that's something I really need to improve on and I'm hoping this course can help me learn a lot. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a one month free trial for Skillshare Premium. So definitely take advantage of that offer and click the link in the description. So today I'm gonna be making some dishcloths for my new apartment. I realized I don't have anything to dry my dishes with because the kitchen doesn't have a dryer rack and I don't wanna add more to the things I need to store after I move out because I already have loads of items. I don't need to buy anything else. I don't know what I was thinking my first year. But the yarn I have is the Lily Sugar and Cream Scrub Off. I've had this. I like moved all my yarn as you can see in the montage in the beginning. But yeah, I brought these three colors. I should have brought the green, but I was like trying to be minimalist and I just brought this random orange one, which I don't really want. So yeah, I'm going to try finishing these for 
the actual washing of it because it has these little fibers you can see for my drying i'm gonna combine pink and green i think it'll be a little cute combo so i'm gonna show you how i make that do you think about what you So much for checking out this video i'm excited to film more in this new apartment i got a lot of requests for beginner tutorials so a lot of that will be coming soon this is just one of many and seriously this is so simple easy for beginners so if you're a beginner definitely try this out you can give them as gifts there's so many different colors you can make them it's just a really fun easy project to do so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time bye